Uh, alright, sick. Okay, so, uh, I don't even know what this start is. I just got a 2020. I was trying to test something. I don't really know what's going on, but if you saw my external item descriptions being kind of weird, I, uh, it's just appearing like five feet below where it usually is. So I was trying to hit R and trying to figure out what's going on. But I mean, listen, if you're going to give me what the hell's going on, <laughs> if you're going to give me just a random 2020, you know what? I'll play with the weird external item description being down here. Whatever. Soul hearts here. No, actually it's just a regular chest, but some good money. So yeah, I just wanted to play Isaac today. A little bit of a tainted version. We have not touched this character in stupid long just because we've had so many cool things to do, so it's been a while since I just get to sit down and play regular Isaac. So here we are. I got a 2020 start. It's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we can do. I want to go angel rooms as well. We have been spamming devil rooms, or at least trying to. I'd like to hard commit to a bit of angelic uh, advice here, you know? I want to I wanna be a little bit of a holy person. Gemini, gotta be one of the easiest fights. Also, we can knock this dude back pretty consistently. He's free! Try and stun lock him properly this time. There you go. Keep him in that corner. We get a range up. It's okay. It turned into sty. I forgot I'm playing Tainted Isaac, but goddamn, am I happy I did because uh, we just managed to get a damage up instead. All right, 100% deal chance, very exciting, but not exciting for the fact that I'm excited to go see it. I just want to have the deal spawn so I can go angel rooms. We also don't have a key, so don't ask me why I decided to go to the left here. Those two poops were very important to break open. He achieved. Let's go back to the treasure room. It's gonna be a skinny one, but it'll still have two items. I gotta remember I'm Tainted Isaac, so I don't pick up an incorrect item, and I also consider that maybe the other item is better. These are whatever. I'm gonna go for this. It's distant admiration. It's okay. All right, Wormwood should be an easy fight. I should not get hit here, and if I do, I will be furious and mad at myself more than anything. We want to also look for secret rooms, because each secret room that has a beggar is basically a free secret room item. And we all know how that story plays out. Oh my goodness gracious me. We're good. Booster pack is... Uh, the obvious choice here, right? We're not going devils. No reverses. Is that a world card? How about we do something like this? I feel as if the secret room's pretty obvious. Yes, it's Dross 1. This means that I'm incorrect. And while it seems like it's here, probably won't be, but I want to try. Perfect. And then we have the world card for the next floor instead. The luck up was super worth it as well. Despite getting nothing else, I'm happy with that transaction. Unfortunately, no keys means I can't go to the shop. We have one last thing to do, which is check the curse room. And then I think we're good to go. We go in here. We get a demon beggar. I don't really have enough HP to feel like I can confidently get this guy to pay out. But we got bombs, so it's fine. Let's go. If I check here, I can see that this can't be my super secret room. And it looks like the rest of the floor could also not be super secret room. I don't know. Maybe this could be it below me, right? So it looks like there's three places that it could be. I just, I don't think that's worth it. I'm just going to use world card on the next floor then. Or you know what? Hold on. I can min max here. Use tower, right? I have a couple tower cards. I was not able to test anything. Let's try again. Come on. All right. Very epic. There was an explosion right here. I don't think an explosion hit this side. I, okay, I, I have a sneaking suspicion. Hold on. Detective skills activate. Put on the magnifying glass. I actually genuinely think it's right here. Aha, I knew it. Shoutouts to the reverse tower cards for giving me one heart. Yay! There you go, two bombs, a key. If I beat this room right here without getting hit, we'll be in the clear, because I can just get my what? Get my way into the secret room for free. Oh, well, it's okay. What's in here? It's money. I'll take money. While I'm not holding out the most hope, I can still maybe get a deal by blowing up that keeper. We get Mr. Ooh, hold on. Mr. Me is broken, but Alabaster Box is right there. Oh, I don't know. I think the Baster Box, the Baster Box, why do I really like that name actually? <laughs> I think the Baster Box is just more fun, even though I think Mr. Me is a better item by definition. So we'll go for the fun play. More keys, and then this is a blood fight. I so badly want to press Q, but instead I'm gonna use my Distant Admiration to get Giga Damage in, and uh, I should be able to just beat it without dying? Oh my God, 2.8%. I hit this deal chance, watch. I could you imagine? All right, we'll take the HP then. In here, ew. Yeah, no, we're just taking the blind. Infestation too, that's beautiful. Used to be quality four, not really anymore, but I mean, it still does the same thing, which is being broken. That's the item we want. Okay, we t it's time to break, found it. Oh, but here's my problem. I really, really want to proc Alabaster Box, right? 
that's that's tough. Okay, maybe I don't know. There's no way. Maybe I can find what is it? Two soul hearts? I completely doubt it. But uh, so the potential's there, I guess, right? Doesn't a uh, blanket give you a soul heart? Okay, we'll keep that in mind. That can go directly to my bastard box. So what we'll do instead is maybe we'll find one soul heart. I I mean at this rate I might as well just blow up those blue fires and hope that I can find one. But uh, I'm gonna wait because I could find a tinted rock and the mirror dimension. We can buy another soul heart through blanket, charging our alabaster box, and then we will take magic skin with us and break the game. Infestation 2 carrying currently. Ah, uh, don't die. Maybe you just drop a PJs randomly and I just, I'm happy. Ooh. I mean, box is the obvious choice, right? Come on. You could also drop a soul heart. Eh? Oh, okay. Balls moment. That's close, not exactly what I wanted, but that's fair. As long as I'm min-maxing as much as I can, I feel like a death certificate glitch crown type scenario is almost guaranteed to be a canon event currently. I'd be flabbergasted if I didn't get some god item. Like a rock bottom? I don't know, maybe. We'll start off with our first one, boom. Uh, that's absurdly good. <laughs> Not what we need, but how about I use this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry? What has happened just then? <laughs> can I- can I get in here? No. What the- okay. I know every time I use magic skin, there's like a little effect that happens because of the car battery thing that I have going on, the trinket. I just- I don't know what happened though. It must have been like, I don't know, telebills or something. I want to check this out first and then- Jesus Christ! Okay! <laughs> Part of me does- oh, look at that. Nice, we'll save that for the next floor. Part of me doesn't even want to go to the- wow, terror- I, this, so many things are stopping me from talking. Uh, I don't even want to go to, uh, or take the- what the- I don't even remember what I was gonna say anymore! Hold on, I need to retrace my steps. Ah, I just remembered, thank god. Uh, part of me doesn't want to go to the treasure room just yet, because what if I get, like, glitched crown, right? It would be better when I do that later. Empress, we don't really care about this. Okay, I'm gonna die. That's not even- I didn't even do anything! It's just there! Okay, hold on, judgment. Of course you're a demon beggar, why would you be a demon beggar? So I have to make the executive decision. Do I want to use the batteries on the D-Infinity over and over again? Or do I want to use it on magic skin over and over again? And I think the more fun play, despite being, I think, maybe worse, is this. Oh wow, there's an Eternal V6. We don't really need it. I guess we could walk in here with Flip, right? This is at least something. Hello? Uh, Book of Rebs and Pencil. Sure, I guess. Flip it into Pencil, yahoo. Uh, yeah, alright. So, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe four pedestals is the play? Maybe three? You gotta realize, every pedestal is doubled. I don't want to use magic skin too much. If I get three pedestals in there and start D-Infinity rolling, I'll probably have a decent amount of magic skin uses that are gonna be annoying for me. But, I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. I didn't mean to walk in here, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, so we have this room, plus the last room, which is the boss, meaning we will probably be able to get some kind of roll here. We'll be able to get a natural roll on magic skin, then transfer over to D-Infinity. So that means we have to walk in here and just uh, defeat this boss. Even if we get the angel, it's fine. What I'm uh, curious about right now is the secret room, and honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna get like an angel because I feel like I'm playing like a bozo currently. We did not. We got pentagram though. That's good. This will make up for the fact that I keep getting hit and damage is always good. Let's plot down our magic skin and start doing a whole little bit of rigging and see what happens. So, boom. Oh! That's just right there, actually. That's perfect. Why am I holding a Pokeball? Oh, it's because of the trinket. I keep forgetting the trinket. Anyway, give me rock bottom uh, and I'll get rid of this. Now, here comes the issue, right? The issue being, obviously, uh, I'm going to get magic skin a bunch of times now. But, whatever. TM trainer, magic skin, infamy. I mean, honestly, even then, that was still worth it. I got a bunch of rolls off. Let's pick up the mega battery first. I cannot go- how many rolls? One, two, three, four, five? Five rolls for the secret room for free. And it is important that I try finding like a death certificate or something because I can take school bag with me. And if I get school bag, no more magic skin, right? Boom. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I- I gotta drop this trinket. This trinket is confusing me. I cannot currently. You gotta stop it. All right, take this. The R key is very interesting. I don't know how I want to handle this one. Part of me just doesn't even want to handle it. I'm just scared of it at this point. Uh, Mycromycosis, I guess I could take because it's just really good and I don't need this in admiration. It's also 2-3 fun guy. Let's take straw man, right? 
And then over the course of everything, we're gonna need to work on basically giving straw man everything. Putting down a 2020 and just giving it to the little straw boy and we can start buffing him up. And then maybe another roll? Yes! Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Very good. But here's my question. Do I take glitched crown or do I take school bag right away? Um, I think I'm gonna take glitched crown because glitched crown will technically probably give me school bag, right? Now this has happened in the past where straw man is a little bit of an annoying dude and he picks up an item by accident. So I'm being very cautious. Now what's important is that I don't know if straw man can take glitched crown. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a play here. I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Do I even wanna do this? I wanna put down my rock bottom and then immediately give it to the straw man, but I'm, I'm scared. Maybe I just, maybe I just put down an item I don't care about too much. Just to be, there, you can take that. There you go. We'll do that later. I'm a little afraid <laughs> of doing that. <laughs> We're hoping for a sacred orb. That way I can give it to Isaac, switch out my rock bottom and give it to straw man. I'm basically managing two inventories right now. It's kind of confusing, but I'm trying to keep track. Boom. Oh! Okay, skeleton key is pretty sick, to be honest with you. Greed's gullet. I mean, there's bookworm, there's epic fetus. I don't care about the epic too much though. We take this. Uh, whoops, I kind of did that wrong, but it's not a big deal. Uh, put down the rock bottom. There you go. And then you go ahead, straw man. You can take rock bottom for yourself now. 100% deal chance. I have a bone heart to make sure that I get the deal chance. Straw man getting hit, coin health, does not count as losing deal chance. It used to back in, I believe, Afterbirth Plus, which is why uh, straw man, or I guess in a sense, Keeper was one of the worst characters. Now it doesn't. So there's no excuse for me to not get a deal here other than absolute an ultimate skill issue. Read this guy could drop a steam cell giving me another roll for the secret room. Would we just be insane? Ooh, okay, not the case. We get a free curse room by doing this though, so that's nice. I think I might start rolling the shop and try and aim for a school bag. Just because I have a roll, and I don't really know what else I want to do with it. Mr. Oh, I, wow, hello, what the hell? Man, do I really want to put mystery gift in the secret room and just like nab myself a secret orb for free? It's, it's so weird. I'm trying to constantly juggle in my brain whether I want to do secret room or shop. Boom. No, but a red key, hello. I highly doubt it on all accounts, but I might as well just try. There's no reason not to. I'm sorry, there is a library that I just opened. That was the best play I could have made. Oh my, oh, what kind of room is this? It's the God room. Look at that. There's literally C-section just chilling there for no reason. I forgot straw man cannot open key blocks. He's, he's disabled. Poor guy. Gonna need that. Holy. Okay. My dude is kind of chill. Oh, I like that he gets keeper little dudes. Look at that. He gets keeper C-sections because he's the keeper. That's adorable. Straw man can't pick up active, so he can't get bookworm because bookworms are all actives. Spoiler alert. Roll? Oh, wow, spin down. I don't believe any of these spin down into anything useful, but spin down is also useful just for the fact that it is a roll, uh, considering I have glitched crown. So how about we use spin down in the library? Boom, nothing, nothing. That's okay. Big reveal, yeah! Beautiful stuff, very good. Uh, we can also use this as an opportunity to give straw man an extra item. That doesn't really matter, but it, you know, it ca I care. Pentagram, I'll give him pentagram. So here we go. Let's drop pentagram on the floor. Give it to straw man. We now have glitched crown, sacred orb, D infinity on one character. And every item we are getting because of that is getting funneled into the most buff jacked dude you've seen in your life. This guy should get one shot. I don't even have to take the ball of bandages. I like that. It's gonna wait for him to die and then I get toothpicks. Man, that was close to sacred art. But I got rid of the spin down already. It doesn't matter, it's right here. <laughs> Purple fires can only shoot you one time, so I'm gonna have these guys shoot me once so I just know for a fact they won't shoot me again. I need this guy to shoot me, hello? He, he doesn't want to, never mind. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go key pieces. It's so weird too whenever I do this strategy because I, I can't see... I'll give Isaac the story items because that just makes sense. I cannot see how much damage straw man has. I genuinely, like I physically cannot, it won't let me. I have to assume that he's demolishing, but that's it. All right. Oh, what? No school bag moment. Okay, that's fair. I did ask for a lot and I have been getting a lot. All right, we'll just deal with the magic uh, skin doing its thing then. Not a big deal. You ready? <laughs> Are you ready over there? Yeah. 
Okay, three, two, one, go! I think I'd rather just roll it. Boom. Rubber cement? Yeah, that does nothing with C-section. So I'll give him an all stats up instead. Uh, I think we're close to boss rush. If we really try, we can make it. The damage has skyrocketed. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's hopefully get a deal, maybe? I doubt it, actually. Oh! But that doesn't matter when you just- When you're just him, it doesn't matter. I think we can take both here. Nice. I'll give Strawman the damage up. In he oh! Nothing else matters, we win, oh yeah. Should I get the other key piece or should I go for another roll? I think I just take it. That way we get to fight uh, Mega Staten. Let's go. Worst thing I could do right now is accidentally press control while I'm trying to cycle my D-Infinity. Uh, put my cursor on like straw man and then I put him down. I don't know what happens in that situation and I don't want to find out. Do all the items effectively get deleted? Like Isaac doesn't remember that straw man had all those, had all those items? Probably. I'm not risking it. I'm not going to find out. Been good about my secret rooms. I a golden chest which has an item. Oh my goodness me. Uh, I've actually run out of items from the secret room, haven't I? That's so interesting. Do I give him money equals power? Does money equals power work? I don't know how this works. All I know is my bro is dummy buff. Sure, I mean, why not? Take it. And have fun. I'm going to assume that it works. I see no reason why it shouldn't, right? Alright, Blast Assist. I love fighting Blast Assist because you know it's going to be an easy wound fight. Another one! Another one! Oh! Do I- oh wow, what do I do here actually now that I think about it? Habit would be breaking for me, which would be cool. Holy Light would be sick, but I don't have a lot of luck. I think I take Habit here. There you go, take Habit, then you can take Mucur. The reason I'm doing this is I, I think it's just thematic, it just makes sense in my mind. The entire point of Isaac is just to buff Strawman, right? So I like doing this. We can beat it lives really fast here. I'm just gonna wait for my babies to kill her. She should just lower like right now. There you go. Perfect. No deal. That's fine. I'm one less HP with Strawman for the first time ever. And immediately I'm freaking out because I don't want him to die. <laughs> you gotta remember three hits. And my entire life is done for. I don't get to have anything. Maybe I can push a coin in the correct direction. There you go. Wow, what a play by me, actually. That was sick. Still kind of looking for god items as well. We have Rock Bottom with Straw Man. I mean, he is just so powerful. Give me an Almond Milk. You know, give me more multipliers. A Polly. Something. Eve's Mascara. Isaac is the bystander currently. He's just watching as his buddy demolishes everything. He's like the older brother. You pass the game over to him and he, he completes the level for you. I never actually had that experience, but I, I think I had something similar. Uh, back when I was a, a little youngin in the Philippines, I had this classic game. Uh, it was on the Game Boy and I had a Game Boy SP. It was Crash uh, Orange, I think it was called. There was two versions. It was like a Crash Bandicoot and Spyro crossover, right? And I think I had the Crash, the one where you played as Crash Bandicoot with Spyro appearing every now and then. In those games, Lover's Card, what the hell? Okay, I'll do it, sure. This doesn't really matter, does it? I'll use it in the chest since I uh, already have depleted my secret room, huh? In that game, there are little mini games where you basically have to mash A to lift a, a, a barbell or something and doing it gives you like a little tiny collectible. That game was ass. I entirely remember it being bad, but it's one of those games where you play as a kid and you just, you can't hate it. You, you love it deep down. I remember I had to ask my older cousin to mash for me because I did not know how to mash well. Now I'm better at mashing. I don't think I'm the best masher in the world, but I did uh, come up with my own strategy. You know how like uh, when you like really like are angry, like you're so angry and you just like you jitter, you know, like you're just you're, you're literally like fuming. I do that on purpose, but I funnel all my energy into my finger or I guess my my index finger and thumb. Right. And I go and that's how I mash in, in games. Isaac is here. We don't have kind of light, but we did not get a damage down because guess who has rock bottom? We're going to use the lover's card in the chest. Roll everything. Say what we can get. I'm thinking big stuff. Mega chest? I- what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, lovers. A yippee! Wait a second. I did not know a mega chest could spawn in place of- Oh, that's so interesting. I really learned something today. I'll do something smart here. Let's take magic skin and then open these so these can't be magic skin. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, 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 there you go. Two more items as well. That's beautiful. Okay, uh, then we can place this back down. 
There's obviously a Tech X, there's a Mutant Spider on the same pedestal, which kind of sucks. I see a Host Hat and a Dr. Fetus together. I've grown as a person and I know I have bomb immunity now. So I'd probably go for that. So take you and then, what else do I want to take? Take you. I'm sorry, wait a second. Just because Straw Man has bomb immunity, does that mean I don't? Uh-oh. Uh, these I don't care about too much. Roll. I ended up getting Parasite. Cool, more splitting. Jacob's Ladder and more, more splitting. I don't know if I really even care about Jacob's Ladder that much. What I do care about the fact though is that there is a bag of craft. And that bag of crafting is juicy. Oh my goodness, I'm terrified because that can spawn more items for me. Assuming I find pickups. Another mega chest! So lucky, actually. And these have to be items, they can't be pickups, because every chest always turns into items. Oh yeah! On the chest, there's the soy milk I wanted. Okay, we take that at the very end, when we don't have anything else to take, right? Because we don't want to ruin our damage. So here's something I did want to do as well. I spawned a bunch of pickups. Let's try spawning stuff in that starting room. This is the moment we were waiting for. Straw Man's on his training arc currently. He is getting a little too powerful. Plop this in here. Could be anything. Doesn't matter. Take this back. Ah, of course. Damage. <laughs> Give you Eve's Mascara. Do I want tech? Yeah, I'll take tech. Hold on. If you take Eden's Blessing with Straw Man, does it actually count? <laughs> this is, I don't know. I'll test it out at the very end. How about that? This is the point in the video where I get overpowered and explode myself. How much damage is he doing, dude? He's gonna do too much. Holy. Okay. I really want to know. Also, we have no coins, which is terrifying. He's actually been at uh, two coin health for a while now. Never mind. We're good. He just got a buff in his damage because he activated Crown of Light. Yeah, it's noticeable. Blue baby is dead. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win. <laughs> this is also a factor. I uh, I'm too low. I don't know. Okay. Here's how I'll handle it. I guess if I take two hits of damage, I'm at one HP, I'll D100 myself as like a saving grace because I do want to win more than anything. God damn it. Steam sale. Or I could forgo the whole amount D100 myself. I want to win thing and just go like, oh, we ball. We ball. And that's everything. I think that that is genuinely everything. I could go for secret rooms, but I don't care too much. Just kidding, I care immediately because I found it and got immediate gratification. This is a human dopamine moment. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here though. Okay, let's try it. Let's take the soy milk, giving us the tier rate up without the damage down. Uh, this I don't really care about too much. I guess I'll just take, I don't really know. Lamau. Two of hearts, this could save my life. This was so worth it. How fast do I shoot now? Oh! Okay, let's try, I don't know. I think I'm gonna immediately die. I think I'm dead. I... He went past universal scaling level. He's too powerful. I'm dead. So, I'm so... Oh, God. I used the two of hearts immediately and immediately lost my hearts again. Shoot once. Don't shoot anymore. Shoot once in that direction. Don't shoot anymore. I'm 1 HP. I don't have a charge on my... Oh, no! I'm fine. PP1. <laughs> God, do I love PP1. Just kill him. Just dodge effectively. Don't give me delirium. I will not be able to beat it. I'm not even kidding. Thank you. Oh, GG!